can't be dupes to our own hopes. We cannot be dupes to our own hopes. Joe Biden, is he going to, you know, change everything and do, I don't know. Let's take a look at history, right? So the 100 days comes from FDR's first 100 days. Let's just briefly talk about Bill Clinton. He passed NAFTA. So as soon as Bill Clinton gets in there, NAFTA gets passed, right? And then uh, Bill Clinton, they were pushing for health care, but uh, we didn't get Medicare for all. We didn't get any kind of health care. They sold out. Hillary Clinton took all that health care insurance money. Sold us out, didn't get us Medicare for all, didn't get us jack shit. We're not going to return to, you know, addressing health care for another 20-something years. Eventually, you know, under Obama. But my God, Bill Clinton, not only did he fail to get us health care, but he passed NAFTA. So, right from the get-go, Bill Clinton is signaling he's a right-winger, and he doesn't care about the lives of the American people. Now... Obama. What did Obama do? Well, he got some things, right? He lifted the ban on stem cells. He withdrew the combat troops from Iraq. He ordered Guantanamo Bay closed, which, you know, didn't happen. 2009, stimulus, Lilly, led better act. He expanded S-CHIP. He reached out to Muslims. He says we're not in a war with Islam. So, okay, we get health care, right, with Obama. He starts it eventually, you know, we get Obamacare, which is actually Romney care. It's, you know, we're forced to buy private health insurance, which, you know, some have subsidies to Medicaid expansion. So, but even if you say, hey, he passed health care reform, he did. Obama passed health care reform, but it was Romney care. It was a right-wing Republican. He ran the nation as a moderate Republican. So he got, you know, uh, some things done, right? Expanded as chip Lilly led better act the 2009 stimulus, which helped with the Great Recession, withdrew the combat troops from Iraq, lifted the ban on stem cells, ordered Guantanamo Bay closed, reached out to Muslims. So, you know, Obama did a little bit better than Bill Clinton. Now let's take a look at 100 days of FDR. So that's the benchmark, right? That's who most people, when they talk about 100 days, they're talking about FDR. FDR just kicked ass and took names. So FDR is going to be the 32nd president of the United States of America, March 4th, 1933. What is FDR going to do? He's going to pass 15 major bills. FDR passes 15 major bills. 76 total bills were passed. So in the first 100 days in 1933, they got 76 total new laws passed. 15 of those 76 were major bills, and this is FDR who was forced in Congress into a 100-day special session. We got an economy to fix, and we're not going to leave until we start passing stuff, and pass stuff they did. So as soon as he gets in there, right, March 4th, two days later, March 6th, FDR declares a bank holiday, closes all the banks in America because there's just runs on the banks and closing and bankruptcies. He also passed an anti-fraud bill in securities. He's going to pass FARA, which is $500 million for soup kitchens, blankets, jobs, nurseries, F-R-E-F-E-R-A. They're going to say that he did all these alphabet agencies, which he, he did. He passed CCC, F-E-R-A, N-I-R-A, T-V-A, A-A-A. So this is FDR just passing a whole bunch of shit, and, you know, hoping something works. FDR got the Glass-Steagall Banking Act passed, which separates commercial from investment banking. There's a Securities Act. There's a Farm Credit Act bill that was passed. There was a Government Economy Act. There was a Beer and Wine Revenue Act. There was an Abrogation of Gold Payment Act. There was a Home Owners Loan Act. There was a Farm Mortgage Act. There was a Railroad Act. Just left and right, the AAA, Agricultural Adjustment Act, that raised farm good prices. And it also gave money for mortgages. The TVA, Tennessee Valley Authority, the TVA, the Tennessee, this is the government providing jobs. We're, you know, we are creating jobs by creating dams on the Tennessee River, and these are hydroelectric dams, so we're creating electricity. The government is now part of the electricity market, also helping the people of Tennessee get some jobs. You had the CCC, which was FDR's pet. It was originally known as the ECW, Conservation, the Civilian Conservation Corps. This is just more jobs, a jobs program to, you know, conservation jobs, so to help Save the environment, also providing jobs. This is fantastic. You had NIRA, N-I-R-A. N-I-R-A 
This creates PWA, the Public Works Administration. It outlaws child labor. So the NIRA creates the PVA, Public Works Amendment, and then you also had the abandonment of the gold standard. So he's doing all these economic things. People think it was Nixon, it was FDR. FDR abandoned the gold standard. So look at all these things, just like, you know, a shit ton of things. Seventy-six new, you know, laws are passed. Fifteen of them are major bills. This is FDR. This is the benchmark that every other president, you know, tries to aspire to. And they don't come close. They don't come close. So let's just make sure I got all the things that he did, right? So from March to June, he did this in the first three months of his presidency. Now, Jimmy Carter, he's going to fight with Congress. Ted Kennedy is going to run for president. He, Jimmy Carter blames Ted Kennedy's presidential ambitions for his uh, tumultuous relationship with Congress. Now, Jimmy Carter, he ran to stop the imperial presidency. He claims he didn't fire a single shot in the four years. The empire didn't fire a single shot. That's amazing. January 20th, 1977 is when Jimmy Carter is going to become president. So that's 100 days, right? January 20th, 1977. That's February, March, April. And so by May 1st, right? So what did Jim, Jimmy Carter do in the first three months he was president? Well, as soon as he gets in there, he, he has an executive order. He gives amnesty for all the Vietnam draft dodgers. You also have civil service reform. You also have money for the old and disabled. The Federal Mine Safety and Health Act of 1977 is going to get passed. The Surface Mining Control and Reclamation Act is going to get passed. The Mandatory Hospital Cost Control passed the House or something, or the Senate and failed the other one. So that was attempted but failed. The uh, Jimmy Carter ordered all the nukes removed from South Korea. He also removed 3,600 of the 14,000 U.S. Air Force troops from South Korea. And that's it. That's it. So Jimmy Carter, right, the great Jimmy Carter, he didn't get hardly anything done. Passed some stuff for, you know, the coal mines or something, and then, you know, failed on the hospital, mandatory hospital cost control. And then with the South Korea, I guess that's good. We got all the nukes out of South Korea. We withdrew some of the Air Force out of South Korea. So those are, you know, the steps in the right direction. And amnesty for the Vietnam draft dodgers, you know, that's, that was major and obvious. And, thank, you know, thank God that he did that. So, but that's it, right? The first 100 days, that's all Jimmy Carter did. First 100 days, Obama, what, what did he do? He didn't get much of anything done either. And then Bill Clinton, he's going to pass NAFTA, and he's going to, you know, forgo on Medicare for All. So he's just straight up a right winger. So these are, you know, the Democrats in recent history. Bill Clinton and Obama is. And they get in there, and, you know, Obama had to fight for Obamacare. But we didn't get a public option with Obamacare. We didn't get Medicare for all. We didn't get government health care with Obama. And that was his signature piece of legislation. So his signature piece of legislation, you know, signaled that he's not a progressive, that he's a moderate Republican. And he ran the nation as a moderate Republican. He got us into, you know, Libya war and carried on with the empire and all the... <sighs> got the combat troops out but kept the occupation going. Anyways, there's a, you know, compare and contrast of the different presidents, first 100 days. Don't be duped by your own hopes. Don't be duped by your own hopes. There's a moment here. We got a moment, right? All those executive orders Joe passed are very exciting. Joe is, you know, got cancel the Keystone Pipeline, rejoin the Paris Climate Accords, um, stop, you know, Department of Education asked them to get a pause on student loans. Um, let's see, restore DACA, so we're going to save the dreamers, we're going to stop the construction of the border wall, end harsh and extreme immigration enforcement, we're going to aim for 100 million shots in 100 days, we're going to rejoin the World Health Organization with Dr. Fauci as the ambassador, which is poetic justice right there, and then we're going to disband the 1776 commission, we're going to work on the 1619 project, which is the correct direction that we need to go. So this is fantastic. This is all really good stuff. This signals that perhaps we could have an FDR 100 days. We could have an FDR kind of 100 days. We can get Glass-Steagall. Let's get the Glass-Steagall Banking Act back. Clinton took the Glass-Steagall Banking Act away. So, Jesus, FDR is trying to save America, and you got these neoliberals who tried to tear the New Deal new one. 
And that's some bullshit. So China went ahead and sanctioned 28 U.S. officials, and Mike Pompeo is one of the people that was sanctioned. Dude, we got an advertisement. Godzilla versus King Kong. Uh oh. Do you really want to watch a video that looks like this? There's a good reason why presenters use images. Just listen to a minute of this, Pompeo. Former Trump officials. The Chinese government is accusing former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and 27 others of seriously violating that country's sovereignty. Our team's Alex Mihailovich has that story. It was a last-minute attempt by the Trump administration to stick it to China. Ten days ago, the Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said this. I've worked with Democrats on many important issues, on issues in Hong Kong and issues as I referred to the Uyghurs in Xinjiang and the atrocities taking place there. Uh, so I do hope that stays the same. And as a continuation of his allegations that China is committing genocide and crimes against humanity, on his way out the door, he tweeted, These acts are an affront to the Chinese people and to civilized nations everywhere. The People's Republic of China and the CCP must be held to account. While China openly admits that there are detention centers focused on counterterrorism and de-radicalization, there is little proof to back the accusations of atrocities taking place.